Now let's discuss the prophecy of Muhammad in the New Testament. As far as the Christians are concerned, whatever is mentioned in the Old Testament, they have to believe because that is part of the scripture, that's part of the Bible. And Allah says in the Quran in Surah Araf, chapter number 7, verse number 157, they follow the unlettered prophet, which is mentioned in the law and gospel. It's further mentioned in Surah Saf, chapter number 61, verse number 6, that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says to Bani Israel, to the children of Israel, I've been sent as a messenger to you, confirming what came before me and giving glad tidings of a messenger to come whose name shall be Ahmad. And when we read the New Testament, there are several prophecies of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned in the New Testament. It's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 16. It says, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says, I shall pray to my father to send you a comforter who shall abide with you forever. It's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 15, verse number 26. And when the comforter will come, who my father will send, he will glorify me. It's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 7. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the comforter shall not come. For if I depart, shall I send him? Many of the Christians say that this comforter refers to the Holy Spirit. Now, carefully note the prophecy of Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 7 says, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is saying, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the comforter shall not come. For if I depart, shall I send him? The criteria for the comforter to come is that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, should depart. Only if he departs, will the comforter come. We know that the Holy Spirit was there when Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was being baptized. The Holy Spirit was also there before Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was born. He was in the womb of Elizabeth. Several places it's mentioned in the Bible. So surely this comforter cannot refer to the Holy Spirit. And furthermore, the word comforter, if you go to the Greek and Aramaic, the present scripture, it says it is paraclete. And the translation of comforter, paraclete actually means an advocate. And if you go and do research, the right word is perikletos, which means one who praises, or one who is worth praising, irrespective which is the name of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Ahmad and Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, irrespective whether it is perikletos, the one who praises, or the praiseworthy, or it is paraclete, whether advocate or comforter, alhamdulillah, all these meanings befit no one better than the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Further, it's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 12 to 14, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says, I have many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them now. For he, when the spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. He shall not speak of himself. All that he hear shall he speak. He shall glorify me. He shall show you things to come. This prophecy says, I have many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them now. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, tells the people, I have many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them now. For he, when the spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. He shall not speak of himself, all that he hear shall he speak. You know, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, whatever was revealed to him, he spoke verbatim. He shall not speak of himself, all that he hear shall he speak. He shall show you things to come. He shall glorify me. And we know Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has glorified Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, in the Quran and in several hadith. We consider Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, to be one of the mightiest messengers of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. We believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was the Messiah, translated Christ. We believe that he was born miraculously without any male intervention, which many modern Christians today do not believe. We believe that he gave life to the dead with God's permission. We believe he healed those born blind lepers with God's permission. So Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did glorify Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. So this prophecy refers to no one but the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This was in brief regarding the mention of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the Christian scriptures. Time doesn't permit me to go and give more quotations. 
But this is just a nutshell, the tip of an iceberg regarding the mention of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the various world religious scriptures. I would like to end my talk with the quotation of the glorious Quran, where Allah says in chapter number 108, Allah says, Inna aatayna kal kawsar, fasalli labbi ka vanhar, inna shaniya kal walaptar, which means we have granted him the fountain of abundance, al kawsar, and pray to thy Lord and sacrifice the name of thy Lord. And anyone who hated thee, hated Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he will be cut off from all future hope. Wa akhir dawan alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.